This is a really important project for Painter Dixon and it's uh, we're very pleased to be again working with Carinity to build some great facilities for the aged in our community. This is a 96 bed aged care facility and we've built two others uh, in recent times, one in Townsville and one currently under construction at Mudgerabar on the Gold Coast. And I think that partnership we have, we are learning and doing each one better than the last. How would you describe the, the quality of this project and the you know, the design, because you've been involved with the design as well, I think, is that right? Yes, that's right. We've been involved right from the get-go in terms of the design, in terms of the master planning of the uh, facilities on this site. That's the aged care and also the retirement uh, village. And this is the first stage of a master planned community on the site. So it is an integrated community of people who are uh, dependent in aged care to fully independent in retirement villages. And so it's making uh, a physical environment that, le that leads to them living better and fuller lives. Is there some um, particular strategies that you've adopted in terms of that master plan? Uh, yes, it certainly is, because uh, we have a site here at Brookfield where the aged care is uh, dispersed throughout the, the site. We've got some up on the top of the site and then we've got the old dark buildings uh, down here close to where we're building at the moment. So one of the key considerations was consolidating the aged care in this part of the site um, so that uh, care services could be delivered much more efficiently than what they are at the moment in a modern... Um, a building uh, that reflects the current uh, uh, trends and, and I suppose the, uh, uh, the lessons that we've learned over the years in building better uh, facilities for people um, who need care. Well just on that one last question, what are some of the unique features and um, technologies that are being uh, employed in the building of the project, not the building but at the end of the day what will um, people benefit from in, with those technologies? I think um, there's a combination of uh, the building planning and the, uh, the technology within the building. Uh, we have various specific areas. We have an area for people who have cognitive impairment or, or dementia, which is designed around um, state-of-the-art uh, principles in terms of layout. Um, and uh, uh, for example, we put cupboards in, into rooms or wardrobes into rooms with uh, glass uh, doors on them so people can actually see that they're closed in there and when you, when you um, have uh, cognitive impairment a, uh, a lot of people just don't recognise a cupboard to a cupboard so little features like that uh, so uh, through to um, our call systems uh, we're using the Vicera uh, voice activator call systems there which Carinity have used in other facilities and obviously the IT is uh, state of the art. What about the green credentials of the project? Um, we are, when we're designing buildings these days, very conscious of uh, energy use. Um, so fundamentally, the building is designed uh, to, um, uh, with insulation to make sure that it, that it keeps the heat out in summer and uh, keeps the heat out, keeps the heat in in winter. Um, we've got solar panels uh, for generating electricity on this building. Um, and uh, we're uh, compliant with all of the uh, current standards for uh, energy uh, conservation.